And this episode is sponsored by Upstart. Saying goodbye to high interest credit card debt is one of the first steps towards financial independence. But the interest month after month can feel like you're in a never ending hamster wheel. And that's where Upstart comes in. Upstart has helped over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. Their personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. Upstart also knows you're more than just your credit score. So rather than looking at your credit score alone, Upstart's model considers other factors like your income, employment, and other other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. And you can check your rate in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000 without impacting your credit score. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash Mr. Make It Happen. That's upstart.com slash Mr. Make It Happen to check your rate today. Don't forget to use the link in the description box to let them know I sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash Mr. Make It Happen. What's up, guys? Welcome back. If you're looking for a way to take your vegetables to the next level, then you're in the right place. Today, I'll be showing you this fantastic warm Brussels sprout salad. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at our ingredients. Here we have one pound of Brussels sprouts, some bacon, blue cheese, shaved almonds, and dried cranberries. Each of these ingredients have been strategic strategically picked to bring to you the most flavorful and well-balanced Brussels sprout dish you've ever tasted. You guys gotta trust me on this one. Let's go ahead and get into the prep work. First things first, we need to clean these dirty Brussels sprouts. We're gonna rinse them under some cold water and scrub them up with a paper towel. It's very important that you dry them as well. That way they don't splatter on you when you add them to the bacon fat here in a minute. It's amazing to see the growth of Brussels sprouts over the years. When I was a kid, you wouldn't be caught dead eating a Brussels sprout. And now they've become a very popular vegetable side dish. And I'm confident that if you don't like Brussels sprouts, you definitely will after you try this recipe. All right, so after the Brussels sprouts are clean and dry, we're gonna set them aside and now we're gonna move on to our bacon. Here I have about four to five slices of thick cut bacon that I'm gonna slice into bite-sized pieces. You can cook them whole and then chop them up later, but I find this to be a little bit easier for me. I do like to separate the bacon, that way they don't huddle together when they're frying. You want individual slices, that way they cook nice and even and get crispy for you. So now that we got our bacon prepped and ready, we're gonna set that aside and prep the rest of our Brussels sprouts now that they're nice and dry. First things first, you wanna cut the stem piece off. That doesn't get tender, it stays really fibrous and it's not super pleasant to eat, so I like to remove it. And then we're gonna cut the Brussels sprouts right in half like you see right here. Super simple guys, just repeat that process for each of the Brussels sprouts. So they're gonna go face down into the baking grease so they can get some beautiful caramelization and crust, looking for a nice golden brown color. Also save your shavings, that's super important. We're gonna add them in towards the end of the cook and they're gonna add a nice little bit of crispiness and some more vibrant color to the overall dish later. So again, cut the stem piece off, slice the Brussels sprout in half, set the shavings off to the side. We're gonna add those at the end. And now we're gonna prep our garlic and onions. I'm using about three or four cloves of garlic here. We're just gonna smash, peel, and mince the garlic up. You could also use minced garlic from a jar or garlic paste that you guys see me use all the time. But my typical rule of thumb is the fewer ingredients in a recipe, the higher quality those ingredients need to be. So today we only have a few ingredients going into this. So we're gonna use some fresh garlic. Plus I had some fresh garlic in the pantry. So here we are, gonna dice it up nice and small like you see right here. We're gonna do the same thing with half of a yellow onion. Few things in the world smell better than garlic and onions and bacon fat not to mention the flavor that it's gonna to add to the party. So this is a great way to kick things off with something like a Brussels sprout recipe. As you can see here, we're just gonna dice the garlic and the onions up nice and fine. And then we're gonna set that aside and move on to our bacon. I'm gonna add the bacon to a cold skillet. It's important to do this, that way you get maximum fat rendering from the bacon. That fat's gonna to add tons of flavor and essentially fry our Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna slow cook the bacon here. Once it starts to get crispy, we're gonna take a slotted spoon and remove it. That's gonna allow us to remove the bacon but leave behind all the bacon fat that we need. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. Man, look at that bacon. All right, we're gonna set the bacon aside, let that drain and we're going face down with the Brussels sprouts into that bacon deliciousness, also known as bacon fat. If you don't eat pork, guys, you could always use beef bacon in place of this or just go in with some extra duck fat or butter. You need some sort of fat for those Brussels sprouts to really cook and sear and absorb some flavor. Look at that beautiful golden brown color. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna flip those Brussels sprouts over once they all achieve that same color. 
You want to make sure that they're cooking nice and even. These Brussels sprouts are going to be absolutely delicious, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your favorite side dish is when it comes to vegetables. Brussels sprouts are definitely in my top three if they're not number one. It changes occasionally every week. And now, my friends, we're adding some duck fat because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. A tablespoon of duck fat going in to add a little bit more flavor to the party. You can find duck fat in most grocery stores. We're also going to season this up with my AP seasoning, which is a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, along with a little smoked paprika. Just to add a little smokiness to the party to kind of play off the bacon as well. And we're also going in with a half packet of Sassone. If you don't like MSG or you're trying to avoid MSG for whatever reason, they do sell non-MSG versions of that. We're also going in with about a teaspoon or two of balsamic vinegar. That's going to add a little bit of acidity to cut through the fat and just balance the flavors beautifully. We're going to go ahead and mix that together. We're working over medium heat at this point. The Brussels sprouts are cooking nicely. At this point, we have the color that we're looking for. We just want to make sure the Brussels sprouts get nice and tender. Now we're going in with the onion and the garlic. You want to saute that until that starts to get tender and soft. The house is going to be smelling absolutely amazing at this point, guys. Trust me, you're going to thank me later. Make sure you come back in the comments when you make this and let me know what you think. Those Brussels sprouts are looking like money to me. And now, my friends, we're adding back in the bacon. Give that a mix. Make sure everything comes together nicely. Make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. Now, if you want to stop right here, you have a delicious bacon Brussels sprout recipe on your hands. But if you want to elevate it to another level, follow the next couple steps. Now, one of the pro tips I gave you at the beginning of the video was to set aside your shavings. Now is the time to add those back in. As you can see, as you cook down the Brussels sprouts, they turn a little bit dark green. I like to add the shavings towards the end because they cook really quickly and they add a nice vibrant green color to the final plate. So we added those, they get nice and crispy and tender. We're gonna add all of that to a mixing bowl, go in with our dried cranberries. It's gonna add some sweetness. Then we're adding the shaved almonds, which is gonna add some crunch and a little bit of salt. And then, my friends, we're going in with the blue cheese crumbles. If you don't like blue cheese, you can leave this out and use Parmesan or feta or leave the cheese out altogether. But I do like the blue cheese in this. And then, of course, we're going down with a tablespoon or so of honey to round out the flavors. Get in there with your hands and mix everything together. And you have the most fantastic warm Brussels sprout salad that you've ever had in your life. Plate this up with a protein of your choice. And you have a fantastic, relatively healthy dinner on your hands. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Going down with some more shaved almonds and some fresh shaved Parmesan, because why the hell not? And the only thing left to do is get in there with a fork for the taste test. I think we have a fork drop recipe on our hands. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.